Lesson 1.9, Mental Math Strategies for Subtraction. We can use mental math strategies to find a difference. Remember, a difference is an answer to a subtraction problem. We can use a number line, friendly numbers, or the break apart strategy. We can make addition friendlier by adding a number to an add end and subtracting the same amount from the other add end. If we need to add 154 plus 99, we can take a 1 away from the 154 and give it to the 99. Then we'll be adding 153 plus 100. We could do that easily, mentally, as 253. We're going to do almost the same thing from doing subtraction mentally, but to make subtraction friendlier, we add the same amount to the minuend and the subtrahend. If we wanted to subtract 54 minus 38, we could make 38 a friendlier number to subtract by giving it 2. That would make it a 40. And we also give 2 to the 54. Then we have 56 minus 40. We can do that easily in our head it'll equal 16. It's a lot easier to subtract 40 from 56 than it is to subtract 38 from 54. Do you see the difference? To make addition friendlier, we took one away from this side and added one to this side. To make subtraction easier, we added the same amount. See? This one had a takeaway and a plus. This one has a plus and a plus. We can use a number line to show how we can mentally find 62 minus 39. We have a number line. We start at 39, our subtrahend, and we count up 10. That brings us to 49. We count up another 10. That brings us to 59. Then we say 60, 61, 62, and that was three more. We count it by tens, then ones. We can do that mentally. We add the lengths of the hops to find the difference. 10 plus 10 plus 3 is equal to 23. There was a difference of 23. 62 minus 39 is equal to 23. So that's how we would think. We would start at this number and we can count it by tens and then count it by ones until we get to the minuend. We can also use a number line and start at 62 and count back 39 because that's how many we're taking away. We start at 62 and we say take away 10, we're now at 52, take away another 10, now we're at 42, take away another 10, now we're at 32, we can take away 2, now we're at 30, but we still need to take away 7 more because the 7 and the 2 make the 9. And that brings us to 23. So we think in our head, take away 10, take away another 10, take away another 10, take away 2, take away 7. We could also just say take away 30 and then do the 2 and the 7. So we take away 10s and 1s and we take away the lengths of the hops to find the difference. 62 minus 39 is equal to 23. So our answer is here. When we started at 39 and counted tens and then ones, our answer was up here. It was how many hops we did. When we started here at 62 and counted back, our answer was on the number line right here at the 23. We can use a strategy of making the subtrahend friendlier to do mental math. So remember, this is the minuend, that's the subtrahend. We're going to make the subtrahend friendlier. We can add 2 to the subtrahend and make it a 30. Because we're doing subtraction, we're going to add 2 to the minuend. We're going to have 76 minus 30. 30 is easier to subtract than 28. 76 minus 30 is equal to 46. And 
we can make this subtrahen friendlier when it's a 9 or a 99. If we add 1 to the subtrahen, it'll be a 10. Because it's subtraction, we have to add 1 to the minuend. Then, in our head, we could subtract 37 minus 10, which is equal to 27. It's a lot easier to subtract 10 than it is to subtract 9. Now the subtrahend is a 99. We can add 1 to it and make it a 100. We can add 1 to the 423 and make it a 424. And it's a lot easier to subtract 100 than it is to subtract 99. In our head, we can think 424 minus 100 is equal to 324. Another strategy we can use is the break apart strategy. We can use it to find 458 minus 136. So remember, we're trying to do mental math. We're trying to do this in our head. So the first thing we're going to do is subtract this 100 from the 400. That'll be 300. Then we can subtract 3 tens from the 5 tens and get 2 tens, a 20. Then we subtract the 1s. We take 6 away from the 8, that's a 2, and we can add the differences. It's 300 plus 20 plus 2, it's equal to 322. We when we use the break apart strategy, we start with the largest place value first. And notice that this one has numbers that are very easy to subtract because we don't have to regroup. See? Each of these numbers in the minuend are larger than the numbers in the subtrahend, so that would be easy to do mentally and break it apart. Bob used friendly numbers to find 57 minus 19. He added a 1 to the 19 and subtracted a 1 from the 57. What's Bob's error? Do you see what he did wrong? Well, 57 minus 19 is a subtraction problem. To make the subtrahend friendlier, he should have added 1 to both the minuend and subtrahend. He should have added 1 to the 19 to get a 20 and added 1 to the 57 to make it a 58. Then he could very easily do mental math. 58 minus 20 is equal to 38. Bob used the addition rule instead of the subtraction rule for friendly numbers. To make addition friendlier for mental math, we need to add a number to an add-in and subtract that same amount from the other add-in. So we're going to add to one side, subtract from the other, the same number. To make subtraction friendlier for mental math, we need to add the same amount to the minuend and subtrahend. A bakery had 78 chocolate cupcakes and 49 vanilla cupcakes. If they sold five chocolate and one vanilla, how many more chocolate than vanilla are left? Well, this problem has many, many steps to it. The first thing we need to do is we need to subtract 5 from the 78 because that's how many they sold of the chocolate ones. 78 minus 5 is 73. They also sold one vanilla, so we need to subtract 1 from the 49 vanilla. That brings us to 48. Now it's asking us how many more chocolate than vanilla are left. So now there's 73 chocolate and 48 vanilla. We need to do 73 minus 48. We can do this easily with mental math by making the subtrahend a friendlier number to subtract. We can add 2 to the 48 to make it a 50, and that means we have to add 2 to the 73 to make it a 75. It's easier to subtract 50 from 75 than it is to subtract 48 from 73. And because it's a subtraction problem, See? We know we need to add the same amount to the minuend and subtrahend to make it friendlier for mental math. 
We're going to talk about compare and contrast. When we compare things, we find how they are alike. When we contrast things, we find how they are different. So here's some facts about panda bears and polar bears. This column is about pandas and this column is about polar bears. Are they endangered? Yes, panda bears are endangered and polar bears are endangered. So they have those things alike. Can they swim? Yes, a panda bear can swim and a polar bear can swim. So those two things are alike. Do they hibernate? Pandas don't hibernate. And polar bears don't hibernate like a grizzly bear or a black bear. So it's not a true hibernation, so we can say no. So they have that alike. How tall can they be? A panda bear can be about three feet tall, and a polar bear can be about nine feet tall. It might even be a little taller. So those are different. Where do they live? Panda bears live in Asia. Polar bears live in Arctic areas like the North Pole. So those are different. So these are in contrast, how tall they are and where they live, and these, they have a like. They are compared to each other and they are alike. Remember for mental math, we can easily subtract 163 minus 99 mentally by adding a 1 to the minuend and subtrahend. Then we'll subtract 164, 164 minus 100. That's easy to think in our head. We just take away 100. It's equal to 64. You can try these strategies to see if you can do mental math subtraction and see how good you are at it. In our next lesson, we're going to be regrouping to subtract three-digit numbers. I hope I'll see you there, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.